Hi, and welcome to another one of my JS A Day series. Today we're looking at the MIDI Velocity and Timing Humanizer. So this is used for changing both the velocity and the timing of notes in MIDI to reflect a more human performance rather than being on the grid and maxed out velocity or whatever it currently is. You could do this by editing a MIDI, but this is another way of approaching it. So, what are the controls all about? So the baseline velocity, that is roughly where the velocity is going to mostly hang around in the changed version. You can either leave it to be use the original as the as the base, or you can set a value there. So say you want it to be generally about velocity 100 or something like that. You've got a control here about whether you add a one beat delay. You've got a bias timing humanization. So this can be up to minus 10 or plus 10 milliseconds in front or behind. You've got the, the humanization level of the timing and the velocity humanization level, which are from zero to 10. Uh, which MIDI channel it uses, or zero is any MIDI channel, and a couple of parameters that you don't touch because it sorts it out itself. So on default settings, it won't actually do anything, as you can probably see. So let's have a listen to what our drum beat sounds like on default settings. And I've deliberately maxed out the velocities on this, so it's going to sound fairly ordinary. So definitely very robotic and not very human sounding. So let's say we make the baseline velocity about 100 or so, 99, close enough. And let's say we go about midway or so up the scale with the velocity humanization level. So as you can see and here, it's definitely humanizing the velocity. And it, it, in re real time, you can see on that very bottom part of the picture there, um, what it's actually doing to the velocity. And the midpoint there is, of course, going to be your baseline velocity. So it's going to be sh it's going to be showing you what it's doing relative to that. In this case, ninety nine. Okay, so let's let's make a slight timing bias. Let's make it a uh, three milliseconds. Right? Two point nine, close enough. And let's put the humanization level for this up about the same. And we'll turn the velocity one down just so you can see what difference the timing makes by itself. So it's subtle, but it's it's definitely there. So if I put this to back to five again. Def 
definitely a lot better. So let's do a playback and enable and disable it during. Definitely a lot more robotic. And a bit more realistic. So obviously the results that you have are going to vary a little bit on what kind of drum library you're using. It obviously works well with multi-velocity sampled libraries because then it can use a different sample for different velocities. But generally speaking, it does certainly help in, in humanizing robotic things. If you want an easy way to do it, then just manually hand it out in your little MIDI. Well, I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video.